Good evening, my name is Probix Jambles. And I'm Mark Palmer. And you're watching Dissecting Track. <laughs> So, we're both sick, we're both <coughs> fucked up, we've been working all day, it's 11.30 at night, we're tired, we don't want to be here or do this, <laughs> but the book of Boba Fett, <laughs> it came out, Mark. It did. We opened with um, Jabba's Palace, which is no longer Jabba's Palace. Boba's Palace. Now the Boba's Palace. We pan through, he's in the back to tank, I guess he's like in the back to tank now because of the Sarlacc pit, that's residual effects. Hey, see, that doesn't make sense though, because <clears throat> he's already come from, oh, residual effects, right, I was gonna say, he's, he already went through all this shit with Mando, so why would he be still recovering from that? But I guess, yeah, maybe he left long, lingering wounds. But you think his armor and like even his clothes that he's wearing in the past wasn't all fucked up, like they were torn a bit. Yeah, the acid, yeah, didn't, yeah. I wanted, yeah, like, where the armor was, all the other material to be, like, burnt away and stuff. Mm. Yeah, and he was all <clears throat> fucked up underneath it. It was a cool sequence, and it was interesting to see him get out of the Sarlacc pit after, like, 40 years. Mm. But, yeah, I don't know, I just wanted a little bit more. He starts using the flamethrower, and then he's out. Yeah. The Stormtrooper thing was cool, how he gets the Stormtroopers out, and he plugs it in. Yeah. But I wanted to see, like, the Sarlacc pit, like, get into pain and start to, like, Bleh! Yeah, but it was just nothing. It was just like dead. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, yeah, because Return of the Jedi was like six years before this, right? Yeah. Unless he was in there for six years. I highly doubt that. <laughs> well, he lost his armor, and then he said in Medlord, didn't he say he spent years looking for his armor? Yeah. So yeah, m maybe he's just been <clears throat> back to tanking it for this long, six years. Maybe. Or maybe he just hasn't. Like, considering he got all dehydrated and all that sort of shit out yeah. in the June Sea and shit, maybe. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure they'll explain it. Yeah. Surely that's not something they're just going to leave to yeah. Yeah, be explained. I did like the fact that he's in a back to tank and he's not like this intrepid, like, mercenary. He's all fucked up. Even the battle he gets in, he gets fucking wrecked. Yeah. And then, yeah, the fact <clears throat> that he didn't have his armor for, like, half of the episode. It was interesting to see this character without his armor, because before this... He's just been his armor, pretty His much. armor in few words. That's what I mean, I was watching it and I'm sitting there thinking, ah, I can't say whether this is acting, he's acting like Boba Fett or not, because I really don't know what Boba Fett acts like. Yeah, just going off the <clears throat> movies, because I don't give a fuck about all those comic books and stuff that aren't even canon yeah, anymore. No. Disney just deleted them all. But yeah, I imagine him being more ruthless. Yeah, but he's... But then when I think back, it's like he was in the movies for like five seconds. The so... most we got out was when he was a kid. Yeah, 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 that's true. Fire! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, so I like the fact that, yeah, he was like a fallible, broken hero, needs to be in the back to tank and got all fucked up. It's just like Mandy again, right? Mm. It's when you make, like, the Wesley Crusher people that are, like, amazing and brilliant. You don't you give a everything. fuck. Yeah, you want to see people try and fail. It endears you to them. And, yeah, all the Sand People stuff was really cool. I like their new, like, garb. Mmm. It doesn't make sense to wear black in the desert. And the, um... I mean, I guess they're just the different tribes, maybe. Yeah. <clears throat> or having the dreadlocks. I've never seen a sand person with dreadlocks before. Yeah. All that stuff was really cool. I didn't think I needed to see any of that, but it was really interesting how it was, like, cut into this yeah, episode. just trying to show what he's been up to, I suppose. Fill in the gaps. Because there are some fucking gaps. I, I like I liked the way it had, like, the flashes of Camino and stuff as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. The dreams are back. Like, as if he's had the dreams before. Mm, he's still <coughs> haunted by his father's brutal demise by Samuel L. Jackson. Mm -hmm. Yes, all that was really good. I like the Tarantino-esque non-linear, past and present, cut up. And then what else happens? What, is it, what happens, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he, what, he fucking... Um... He escaped the side, then immediately passes out and have Jawas steal his armor. <laughs> yeah, Jawas fuck up Boba Fett. <clears throat> How crazy is that? I mean, it's also Sarlacc acid, yeah, yeah, deprived, yeah, yeah. fucking <laughs> like sunburnt, fucked Boba. I really wanted to see blood in this, eh? There were so many moments where I'm like, it just doesn't feel right without <clears throat> blood. It just, they can't show it. 
I know. <clears throat> so many head crushing scenes with no. There's scenes like, of Sam people just beating the shit out of him with sticks. Like several of them. Just nothing. There's like three scenes where Sam people just flogging the guts out of him with sticks. <laughs> No blood. At all. Like, I mean, in, in the New Hope, they literally have corpses, that are, like, <laughs> skeletal corpses, which have been burnt away. Uncle Owen! <clears throat> Anakin's arm getting caught of him burning alive on Mustafa. Yeah, there's lots of violence and blood in Star Wars. But it's Disney. Although now Predator's Disney and shit, so surely they're allowed to have blood now. I, I get it. They want kids to watch it and stuff, but kids can watch stuff with blood in it. Yeah. And also just make something brutal and R-rated for the adults. Yeah, if anything's going to be R-rated, you think Boba Fett. Yes, that is exactly the thing that should be R-rated. And you look at all the scenes, you look at all the sequences that happen, and there should be blood in most of them. Yeah, that scene where he does that and just, you picture the blood just like on his face would have been perfect. Yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. Or when he's watching shot. that thing, like, later in the episode where the guy, they all beat the crap out of that guy and stealing his shit, how they do that, they should have showed it, like, connecting yeah. his head and just like... I did like that scene where he shot the missile at the guy, though, and the guy just evaporated. It wasn't there, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was interesting. That was like, okay. oh. well, that show someone would be dissolved by an explosive, but not... <laughs> not blood. Not a bit not of Not one blood. drop of blood. Fuck no, 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 no. that. <laughs> Man, his skin would be so fucked up being in that desert, eh? And well, it is, too. Have you seen it? It's like leather. Yeah. Ooh. I think part of the back to tank, too, is getting rid of all the scars, so tomorrow Morrison doesn't have to sit in a makeup chair for 18 hours before he goes on. I mean, if they have the technology, why the fuck not? Yeah, it makes sense. And yeah, I guess he was just that fucked up. I mean, yeah, in acid, stomach acid, it'd be pretty brutal. I honestly think the Jude Sea was more cruel to than the Sarlacc. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. He, he was not doing well when he was in the Tuscan Raider camp. <clears throat> yeah. I know I've said this a million times, but I'll say it again. The score is amazing. It's by the same guy that did The Mandalorian, Ludwig. I'm just so used to watching like things and the music's just in the background. Mm. Like The Expanse is amazing, but the, the music is just like, eh? Yeah. But this is so interesting. Like You could listen to the soundtrack. Yeah. Like those modern Marvel movies, like you couldn't listen to the soundtrack. It'd just be... Boring, generic pass. Yeah, but that's not surprising at all. This is Star Wars. Star Wars has always had a really good soundtrack. John Williams is one of the greatest <clears throat> film composers of all time. Yeah, fuck Jurassic right. Park, E.T., Jaws, Harry Potter, Star Wars, is that, is that Indiana Jones. Star Wars yet? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but yeah, and he 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 wants to rule with out of respect instead of fear. I thought he'd want to go hand in hand with respect and fear. Be feared by your enemies, but respected by your. It's a smart tactic, and all the little things he does where he hands off his helmet and he's nice to, like, the, um... The guy that comes to see him that gives him mouth, it's smart, but it just didn't seem like Boba Fett to me. No, I reckon, honestly, I reckon he should have enslaved that guy. <laughs> yeah. Like, and then when he kept stopping and saying, oh my god, oh my god, what are you doing? <laughs> he's gonna fuck you up. And he didn't, I was like... Yeah. <clears throat> that actor was so, like, eccentric and weird, too. What, he was like the mayor's fucking... Guy. Yeah. I can't remember. Well, I know, I know it's not, but I just think of like who says, I'm the king's major dodo. It sounds similar to that. Yeah, major domo. Major domo, yeah. Yeah, I've heard it in something before. <clears throat> I think it's like a medieval. I speak for them sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a term. But yeah, obviously that's setting up something. And they get it's attacked by those later. people. So maybe that was the mayor, or maybe the mayor's going to come and do it later on. Mm. So yeah, all the sand people stuff was awesome, he kind of proves himself to them, he escapes, he's with that little kid who he like spares beating the shit out of him, yeah. and they're digging for the water things, and then yeah, we get that awesome sequence of that six-arm legged monster thing was creature. Like fucking titan. That yeah, thing was like yeah. fucking brutal, man. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. It, no it, blood though, once again. No blood, it like punched him in the face. I was expecting to just tear that road in your Oh, that would have been amazing, because that guy was no blood, terrible. No blood, <laughs> <laughs> just a clean cut. But you couldn't even see the clean cut because that would be the colour of red. Yeah. It's right. just like a nub, it's like keeled over with skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that creature was awesome. When he found its hand, I'm like, oh, crate dragon. Yeah, game. that's what I thought. Can we too. do anything new in Star Wars? Holy oh, shit, something new in Star Wars. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I mean, presumably it comes from like some obscure book somewhere or it, something. Maybe I haven't seen anything of it at all. Like, yeah, I don't it know. Didn't, in the subtitles, it didn't have a name. Like even little book, like because I watch it with subtitles. The little dog things are called massive, so it says that in the subtitles. True. Massive snarls. Yeah, so it whatever. could be completely new. Yeah, it was written by John Favreau and directed by Robert Rodriguez. 
It's funny, Robert Rodriguez did the Boba Fett episode in season two, and now he appears to be the Boba Fett guy. And maybe that's why he did that Boba Fett yeah. episode. Yeah. Good old Robert Rodriguez, eh? Hey? Yeah. Got a little, like, El Mariachi in Desperado, Once Upon a Time in Mexico, that was so good. But then he made those Spy Kid movies. Hmm. Yeah, we, do, <laughs> we do not discuss those. <laughs> They don't exist. <clears throat> he just made those those movies and then had a, like a twenty year break. <laughs> then made Boba Fett. <laughs> I thought I thought it was a nice um a good thing what he did with the Gamorreans. Mm. Like Chris he was like, oh well, god, he should kill them. There's no way he can trust them. I'm sitting there going, actually, yeah, well, he got them to swear their loyalty to him. They essentially give him a life debt. And they saved him at the end. Him and Fennec were getting fucked up by the ship. Yeah, if they didn't come, because like it's exactly what I said to The Gamorreans. You're not gonna. They're not gonna do some elaborate overthrowing thing because they they're fucking dumb. stupid. Yeah. They are really fucking strong. They're big monsters. And they'll. They're, it's like because like, they were so loyal. They wouldn't even change. Um, oh, what's it called? Alliance. Alliances straight away is like yeah, but now he's sparing their life to do it. So now they're going to be ludicrously loyal to him. Yeah. <clears throat> that droid's like yo, Fett. Are we just gonna horribly torture these guys? Yeah. And Boba Fett's like nah, we won't horribly torture. Well, that was them. the torture droid from episode five. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Still there. <clears throat> Still the hanging out. Red eyes now. Yeah. It's so much more menacing. Presenting His Excellency Mark Shays, Mayor of Mos Espa and its surrounding plateau. So yeah, I I don't know how good of an actor Tamora Morrison is. <laughs> I'm still not completely sold if he can like carry the series by himself. His facial expressions a lot of the time kill it for me. Like there's even a scene where like the sand people roll him over and it was maybe I was just like over analyzing it. He's good in Once Were Warriors, but it's like either like happy or rage. Yeah. He doesn't have like a you know like a wide spectrum of emotions that I've seen. I mean he might be in other things. I always saw Boba Fett as being serious. I saw him being like Django Fett. Mm. Django Fett was calm, collect, and serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this Boba Fett seems to be have a bit of try and com have comedic effect. Like you don't, you don't need that. For yeah. Boba Fett. So yeah, we'll see if Tamara Morrison has the range to carry a show on himself, or even if Boba Fett can. Because I mean, <clears> he's never been a leading character. You essentially have to write a character. Yeah. Yeah. Because even in the Clone Wars, he doesn't really have a character. Yeah, and the same with Fennec too. Like she's jumping around doing parkour stuff, and she's a good fighter. But I'm still like not sold on her. I'm like, nah, yeah, I don't know. I she don't seems know. a bit too, a bit ruthless, which is fine, which is good. But like, it's funny that she's the ruthless one. Everyone and he's just the like <laughs> mercy one. I know everyone's just telling him you should do it this way. You should do it this way. You should do it this way. It's like I know that's what, I get it. That's what they were doing. But he wants to try something else. He's not following in their footsteps. He's yeah. a new kind of leader. I don't get why the mayor is uh, <clears throat> trying to get him to pay tribute to him. Are you honestly trying to push against a crime lord? Because from the way I understood it, Tatooine was completely in control by the huts. Yeah, that's so run by a crime lord. to try and be like, oh, he's taking over Jabba's empire. Let's just get him to pay <laughs> empires. Like, what are you, the mayor of some little town? <laughs> He'll fuck you up. <laughs> He'll destroy you. Yeah, yeah. which I'm sure With will sail happen. barge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just doesn't seem right. As well, too, like, <clears throat> the litter, like, the things that carry, like, Bib Fortuna and Jabba and stuff. I didn't like them. They were, like, Boston Dynamic robots, like, mm. modern robots. Star Wars is supposed to be, like, janky and, like, droids and, like, analog and ding, ding, ding. Yeah, yeah, but they're, like, modern, like, robots that we have now in 2022. Mm. Little tiny detail, but I'm like, you're not Star Wars robots. They're Boston Dynamic robots. Yeah. Which is good that he doesn't like them. Yeah. When he was in that fight scene too, he surrounds like that, oh no, what can I do? Maybe... <laughs> and then he shot a rocket, like, so close. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, that was the most <laughs> the, the stupidest thing you could possibly do. <laughs> Where were the blasters? Did you go there without blasters? You're a crime lord walking around a city on, like... Where the fuck is your blasters? You're known as your blaster. You would have a blaster, because surely the huts had blasters in their fucking... Does thing. He, he... Does he have a blaster on his new outfit? He's he got should have a blaster, he right? He should have a blaster. He's Boba Fett. Yeah. Boba Fett has a oh, blaster. I guess he has his rifle. Yeah, but he just didn't bring it? Because Django was the blasters while 
bubble was the right. I think he right? had a pistol though as well, didn't he? He had he his sure. rifle and he had like well, a little that pistol. That would be pretty standard for a mercenary. Yeah, right? yeah, you have a rifle and a pistol. Even if she he has what's her face as a bodyguard, yeah. he should still have a fucking pistol because those guys, the ninja guys, wouldn't have done Did much. she have a blaster? No, she she chased after them. She was like <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so in conclusion, it was good. I enjoyed it. <clears throat> I'm glad it exists. It's like little tiny small scale Star Wars. I'm starting to realize more and more like how tiny everything is. You think of Star Wars and it's so big and the sets and the set pieces and the action sequences are like massive and it's millions and millions of dollars. And then we cut to this, and it's so little, little tiny. Yeah. But I like it. I, I really enjoyed it. I mean, obviously there's a few things I was a little concerned about. Yeah, it's... Um, <clears throat> but I genuinely enjoyed the shit out of it. As far as this first episode goes, it was really good. It's just things moving into the future. I'm not sure whether Boba Fett can be a, a leading role. <clears throat> I feel he's only getting one season anyway. I think it's just supposed to build up his empire before the Mandalorian season three. Yeah, and probably, yeah, <clears throat> Cause build towards yeah. some of that Mandalorian Civil War stuff, and... I, I, I do feel like he's going to, um... Him trying to rule with respect and fear and be this goody guy, good guy for some reason is going to backfire on him hardcore, because yeah. if people aren't fearing him, they're not used to that, they're going to obviously push that, and he's going to learn that he has to have yeah. a certain amount of... That would be a good character <clears throat> arc. Just, yeah, instead of being an arsehole that learns that you should be a good guy, trying to be a good guy, that means, like, nah, 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 I need to be ruthless. He's never had to be a leader before. Yeah. Yeah, he's just been a fucking mercenary. Yeah, he's a probably bounty just, hunter. He's probably just watched all these, like, tyrants, like Jabba the Hutt and shit like that, and think, you're such a prick, I wouldn't be like that. So he's thinking, I don't yeah. have to be like that. It's weird that, yeah, he even really wanted to do this <coughs> so late in his life. Yeah. I mean, it's a good premise for a television show. I, I guess, guess he would never, never have even thought of it with Jabba the Hutt being alive. But to the Jabba dead, he thought Bib Fortuna would be easy enough to throw. Yeah. He got an off that. No, no, thank you for watching.